So today I wanted to show you how you can quickly make these three beautiful baubles. So you, what you will need first of all is um, clear baubles. So I bought these glass clear baubles. Mine were not completely clear. These are called iris I think. They are iridescent because you know I have this sort of pale pink going on so I bought these but you can buy them totally clear okay let's start with this one I absolutely love it it's like a marble effect it's got all different pinks and a bit of silver and white in here and I cannot take credit for this idea I've watched this channel um, it, she's called Emily Lefla. I will leave you the link to her channel. She does amazing uh, Christmas decorations. So have a look at her channel. But that's where I got the idea for this bauble. So let's see how I did this one. So first of all, you need to take the top of your bauble. You will need some sort of plastic cup or something like this. And this is just um, acrylic paint. So I bought this iris one. And uh, then I got, I think it was metallic white. And then I got the pearl blush and metallic silver. You can get these paints anywhere, they are so inexpensive. And you start pouring them down your inside your bubble. Um, make sure that you tilt it so as you can see the, the paint drips. Um, on all the sides of the bubble and you just pour whatever colors you like so as you know I've got this pale pink theme going on this year so I've chosen all these lovely powdery pinks but it is nice to mix it with a bit of uh, like metallic silver or metallic white or metallic gold uh, whatever you like so you keep pouring this paint in And then take a kitchen towel or a tissue, start turning it around, shaking it um, till all the paint sort of melts together and covers your bubble. As you can see, I still have some bold patches, so I'm, I'm going to pour a bit more paint in the bubble. And it really doesn't matter in which order you do it. Look at that, doesn't it look gorgeous? I think the glass being iridescent as well uh, helps the overall look. Now put your bulbo upside down in a cup and let the excess paint to drip. And that's it really, you can do it with so many different colors. I've seen someone, maybe it was the same channel, doing it with nail polish as well. Okay, now let's start with this one. You know, I love feathers um, and I've seen very similar bubbles like that and they cost a fortune. So here is how I did this one. So I've got a white feather boa <clears throat> and I've just cut, I found like the longest bits and cut a few out. Of course you need your hot glue gun as well and be very careful with it I you take the top of the bubble and then I've stuck a few little feathers inside and I think if the bubble wasn't iridescent it would show even more but you can put different colored um, feathers inside not not just white depends on your color scheme and then I started to glue the feathers near the opening to the bubble, all around it. 
And again, you can choose how many feathers you want. You could just have that one and it looks quite cute with just one feather. I think I've stuck four or five um, around mine. Put the top back on and it's done. And the last one is the most obvious one. Just bling it out. So I have this ribbon, this Diamante ribbon. You can find them on eBay, on Amazon. I found mine in Garden Center last year. Um, and this is so easy. Again, you can put as much or as little as you want. So this is how I did this one. So as you can see, this ribbon is quite wide. So I started cutting strips, two row wide strips. But you could do just one row, you could do three rows. Is really up to you I've measured it going around from one side to the other take the top of the bubble always whenever you do any decorating take the top off and then start gluing it so I glued it all the way round on one side then I glued it all the way round on the other side and then in between and you could blink it out even more I suppose you could um, use individual bigger gems and put them in the middle and you could also do that on any plain colored bubble it doesn't have to be see-through but you know I was doing making stuff that would go with my color theme for this year so you see I'm crisscrossing this one and then I will go in between as well and now put your top back on and you are done so here are all the three bubbles that I've made. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.